Hello and welcome to part 2 of the tutorials. Those are gonna be a lot simpler and faster than before. Let's see how we're gonna process my our first horse into the game. Start with the stone furnace as I said before. Then we get ahead, then we're gonna use the copper hammer and then the copper macerator. But both of them require kinetic energy. As shown here, require it. So let's put the stealing engine on top of the furnaces and rotate it like so. Let's pick it and let's match yellow with yellow. Yes, you can make them flying like this. And now the macerator just on the side here. Now let's give you some fuel. Let's start with some wood as I normally don't have it access to copper so early on as you can see it is already full now if I give it some off like this copper all here I'm going to start to hammer it and break it on gravel as you can see it is struggling because the wood is don't burn high enough to actually keep this going on stuff eh? and guys got our first thing Copper gravel. But the one thing about the hammer is that it sometimes we gain an extra, like the saw here. The hammer can break a copper ore into a gravel and a fifth chance of getting another one. But this case here got three and now plus two. They got two of this, this one here. Now can I can process this one here into the macerator as you can see here. One copper gravel, make one dusty and a chance for another dust. So let's pick the gravel here and put into the macerator. So we're going to macerate it into the dust itself. And we got two. And the dust can be is melted into the stone is melted as I show in the previous episode. But you probably want to automate this as soon as you as possible, like placing one arm here to take from the hammer to the macerator and from the macerator to consume some kind of storage, like an actual uh, stone chest. And then, of course, I'm going to take it. I'm not a furnace, put the uh, furnace melter on top, give some fuel, and place one army, take it from the chest and place it on the melter, who is melted. And then another army take it from the smelter into another chest. And now have we automated the base production. All that is left to have another army actually inserting all into the Into the hammer and be done. And the, the army is actually marked. Now they would need another one, another, another one to place a fuel into the furnace. But this is how we're gonna process our first thing. What's ours? Later on, we have access to more materials and we can have a bigger production line, like we have the water washer. And its job is to watch any impure gravel to have a chance to get the, a new byproduct. And later on, we can even have this aluminum industrial separator. Its job is to separate from the impure dust the material and extra materials 
but as you see those those are to get the an extra material from the original or if you want the base or those are not required this here is more than enough to give you copper iron and basically aluminum have the tech for it if you want to make the most compact design possible using all the the, 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 the four machines you have to unlock it all quickly until the aluminum tier then Uzi uh, still fly away like here then you place your water washer just into the side here then pick a hammer and place it like so because the fly will distribute kinetic, kinetic energy to these things around it then put the macerator into this side here and lastly the aluminum the separator like so as you can see they are touching the flywheel and the flywheel gonna distribute the power for them they need to pick an army and place it from here to take it out from the hammer and place it into the water washer and he starts to get a little difficult because the water washer can make it the product in the next one you're going to require two arms here with filter arms want to only take out the purified copper or and the auto to take the extra material in this case golden dust the copper all goes into this one here to be placed into the macerator and the gold to be placed somewhere else like a chest or a, a conveyor and then you take another arm to take out the dust from the macerator and place it inside the in the separator and then the separator you just place the arms to remove the material from inside why want to place it is up to you this case here let's put it right here and run some conveyor In this case, here going into in, in, in to feed the electric energy from below here. Let's put uh, something here just for, for, the, for the testing, like you have a uh, electric engine from the below, and everything is gonna work normally. You have some water. Now, if I give this off. It's going to break it. Place into the water washer. We wash it. They're gonna take the gravel and place it into the macerator. This old buggy. The machine is going to place into the industrial separator, and finally, we're going to take out the materials. And into this small area, have you automated everything from that place? Look at this one here. And we've got no gold, but it's okay. So this is the basic key of it. refining ore into ingots. The Zungot, thanks so much for watching.